My name is Justin Nault. I own Clovis. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about macronutrients and we're going to take all the advice, all the things that you've learned from school since you were a little kid, all the mainstream nutrition, we're going to untangle all the nonsense, flip it on its head and fix your health. I've got more to say. One more macronutrient. We need to talk about carbohydrates. The belief is we need carbohydrates. We need carbohydrates for survival. We need carbohydrates for growth. Kids need carbohydrates to grow. We need them for athletic performance. We need them for this, that, the other thing, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Simply not true. For a deep dive on this, check out a book called Primal Endurance by Mark Sisson. For all you athletes out there, that's, it's really the CrossFitters and stuff that like get in my face about this stuff. They're just like, you need carbohydrates. And I'm like, okay, let's have a deadlift competition. Cause I don't, I don't need carbohydrates. You want to do this? No. Okay. Sure. Awesome. Ain't nothing to prove here, right? I don't, <laughs> there's no secrets here. You don't need carbohydrates. They're not required for survival. They're not required for athletic performance. Many of the top, acts, top athletes in the world are utilizing fat for fuel now, and they're breaking world records. So I'll give you an example. We had an academy member that shared this the other day. I think his name is Zach Miter or Zach Mitter. I'm not sure how to say the dude's name. But there was an article put out about Zach Mitter, I think it is. He is a 100-mile runner. He's an ultra-endurance ultra endurance athlete, world record holder for ultra-endurance races. 100 mile races. Understand, people have a bucket list of like doing one marathon, 26.2 miles. This guy runs 100 mile races and he eats almost zero carbohydrates. He relies on fat for fuel for 100 plus mile races. So let me spell this out for you. If a 100 mile race runner doesn't need carbohydrates, you don't need carbohydrates for your cushy beach body workout in your living room. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. They're not required, okay? Of the three major macronutrients, only two are essential. Essential versus non-essential. Essential means required for human survival. You have to ingest it because the body can't make it by itself. Non-essential means not required for human survival because the body can make it. Your body can make its own glucose from glycogen stores and from amino acids. It can strip amino acids and make glucose, right? Glucose is carbohydrate. So your body can make its own glucose. Carbs are literally not required for human survival. If you don't have fat and protein, you die. Literally, you die. Without fat and protein, you die. Without carbohydrates, you can live a long, happy life, literally. And your body knows this. If you rescued a survivor on, a, on an island, they've been on an island and starving for three weeks, and you brought him to a buffet, he's going to run right to the butter, scoop it with his hands, and start eating butter. That's what he's going to do. His brain is telling him to. He, he's not in control of this. You could have you know, Doritos laid out for him, and he's going to go to the butter and eat it because you need these things for human survival, and your brain will make you crave them when you've been short on them for too long, literally. I mean, these are true. There are documented cases of this. It's really crazy. So without carbohydrates, you can live a long, happy life. Any and all problems that spawn from eating too much fat or too much protein only happen when combined with excess carbohydrates. So, all right, I'm gonna use this board real quick. I'm gonna show you if we have excess carbs plus excess fat, you have a massive energy surplus. So excess carbs plus excess fat, your two sources of fuel, you end up with a massive energy surplus Fat is stored instead of being burned for fuel. So all of this excess fat is going to get stored because you can't burn it because you're too busy here. And these excess carbs are going to get stored as fat as well in the form of triglycerides. So you're going to get triglycerides. So that, that's how carbs are stored. You have a, a glycerol molecule that attaches and stores it as triglycerides, right? So excess fat, when there's a surplus, gets stored as fat. Excess carbs gets, this is a fat creation machine. This surplus, fat, 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 fat. The combination of fat and carbs is the most dangerous dietary habit you can have in the world. Okay, let's move on from that. We have excess carbs, so let's just keep excess carbs, plus excess protein. Now again, you have a massive surplus, but you have a glucose surplus. Because once your glycogen stores are filled up, any extra is converted into glucose, so even protein is then converted into glucose, Glucose is then stored as triglycerides, as fat, stored as body fat. So now excess carbs plus excess protein, glucose surplus, body fat storage, guaranteed 100%. So let's hit one more thing. Excess carbs plus low fat or low protein equals, not even write this out, anemia, 
type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, cognitive dysfunction, Alzheimer's, dementia, excess body fat. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Your body cannot function in this. And this is what all the doctors are telling you to do. Get 60% of your daily calories from carbohydrates, limit your fat to less than 20%, and get the rest from protein, right? It's insane. It's insane. It's where the obesity epidemic comes from. We didn't even talk about cognitive disorders. I lost two of my grandparents to dementia and Alzheimer's. And I promise you that their low-fat diet had something to do with it. We're 100% French Canadian. We did nothing but eat carbs my whole life growing up. Okay? It's crazy. I'm telling you, there are people right now, there are doctors, functional medicine doctors, that are re reversing all symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia. Reversing all symptoms in elderly patients. And they're doing it with high-fat, low-carb diets. I'm telling you right now, stuff is crazy. The reason why the, the excess carbs, this is the common denominator for all problems, right? Is excess carbohydrates. It's crazy. So just so you guys know, I'm, I'm not anti-carb, I'm anti-simple carb. Even if you just cut sugar and grains, I'd be super happy with that. I won't even touch fruit. I won't even talk about fruit today. All my academy members will be happy. I won't even touch on fruit. If you just remove grains and process sugar, your health will improve. Get rid of the simple carbohydrates because micronutrients are important. I'm a big fan of leafy green vegetables, colorful vegetables, getting all those micronutrients, right? There's a difference between survival and optimal. You can survive without carbohydrates, but getting in a lot of leafy green vegetables and all those micronutrients, those are critical for brain, brain function too. There's a difference between just surviving and optimal. Like all the RDAs, this is your RDA, 100% of your daily vitamin C. That's all just for you to survive. That's the limit you need, the limit that most people need, it's, and it's only like 70% of people is what the RDA is based on. You need that much vitamin C to not get a disease and die. So trust me, you want more than that. Uh, so for instance, when I first went paleo, I mean, I was paleo and I was eating like four bananas a day and a full bag of cashews and all these almonds and cooking stuff in almond butter and coconut and just mixing fat and carbohydrates and like, dude, I'm paleo, how come I'm not losing weight? I didn't get it. So once the carbohydrate story clicked for me, the biochemistry clicked for me, I effortlessly went from like 26% body fat to like 12% body fat. I sit right now at about 13. So I mean, it's crazy. Like my whole life has changed and I've never looked back. I just keep this weight off effortlessly. Like I said, last week I lost eight pounds in seven days because I friggin' felt like it, right? It's pretty crazy to be that in control of your body and I can teach you to do these things. So that's basically the story on carbohydrates. So the wrap up there is carbohydrate is the only non-essential macronutrient. So I'm gonna ask you a question. This is food for thought for you guys. How is it that in our society, based on the food pyramid, right? You have your food pyramid with all your carbs, right? I wanna ask you guys, just think about this logically. How is it that the only non-essential, the only non-essential macronutrient that we don't need for survival has somehow become the number one macro in America? This is a big question mark, right? Think about that. When you stop, I might seem like crazy Justin here, the high fat, low carb guy, but I want you to really think about this. Look it up. Do the research for yourself. This is a non-essential. You don't need carbohydrates for human survival, and it is somehow the number one macronutrient in America, and our kids are eating it 100% of the time. Does that make any logical sense at all? Any logical sense. And now we have a childhood obesity epidemic. One out of every five white kids will be type 2 diabetic by age 12. One out, of every five, one out of every two African-American kids will be type 2 diabetic by age 12. Why? Carbs, 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 carbs. That's it. This is simple stuff, guys. It's really simple, right? It's really, really simple. There's a lot of people that are going to tell you I'm wrong. Do the basic test. Look at my video. Do you want to look like me or the people telling you that I'm wrong? It's that simple, guys. This is crazy. I mean, when I, this is all I'm trying to do with Clovis, right? Is I'm trying to take the status quo, the standard mainstream of looking at things and giving you a different point of view. Getting outside of the box or outside of the pyramid. Think outside of the pyramid for a second. Just think by yourself for a second. And look at this. It's the number one macro in America and it's not required for human survival. And it leads to all these problems. Surplus, glucose sur surplus, energy surplus, fat, triglycerides. These kill you. These kill you. And it comes from excess carbs. Do you guys see why I do this work? This is why I do this work. It's crazy, right? So recapping the beliefs, eating fat will make you fat, raise your cholesterol, kill you, right? Done, wrong, no, completely wrong. So we dispelled that one. Then we talked about animal proteins will kill you, or they're bad for you, red meat's bad for you, blah, 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 blah. Not true, we dispelled that too. Number three, we need carbohydrates. No, we don't. 
They're not essential for human survival. Carbohydrates are not essential for human survival. So what happens if you go over your carbohydrates on the Clovis plan? You get fat or you don't lose weight. Okay. You probably won't get fat because you're still probably taking in way less carbohydrate. I feel at less than 10% of your daily carbohydrates, again, macronutrient ratios. So you're not going to get fat, but you're not going to lose the weight you want to, and you're not going to get the crazy transformation results that I get other people. You have to lower carbohydrates for that. Okay. So recapping macronutrients are everything. Every single person who's ever come to me from Clovis, who just did a weight loss challenge at their gym, usually CrossFit gyms where they said, Hey, they gave me these macros and I did it for 30 days and I only lost like two pounds. I don't know why. And I look at their macros. They're completely backwards, like 20 grams of fat and like 135 grams of carbohydrates. Of course they didn't lose weight, but they don't know that they're not dealing with the excess glucose in the system, right? It's crazy. There's always going to be obstacles. There are always going to be ways around obstacles. People get to decide if the obstacles define them or if the obstacles do not define them. I can tell you stories about people who have little to no money who make this work every single day. I promise you.